Sales I worked for six years in direct sales. In this form of sales, you're under the maximum pressure to close a deal. It involves going to see a business owner, partners or directors, having never met them before at any time. You have to close a deal within an hour or you will never see them again. You just move on to the next lead. And so it goes on. It's a psychological game of nerve. I made around 300 sales in my short career at an average value of about £5,000 each. A lot of money. You do the math, as they say. You get what is called a lead. Someone who has expressed some interest in the product. And you make an appointment and visit them with the idea that you're going to give them a demonstration. But in fact, in order to keep your job, you have to get a sale on the day. Not everyone is this way, but sales has a lot of people who are hard-faced and cynical. The reason for the cynicism is to protect yourself from the constant rejection. And you do this by seeing your prospects as the enemy. And there is a saying that buyers are liars. Here are some examples of what people say and then what they actually mean. I'll call you at the end of the week. I won't call you at the end of the week. I'll definitely, definitely get back to you. I'll never get back to you. I want to discuss it with my partner. I don't want your product. I can't afford it. I want something for nothing. I've got a much cheaper quote from another company. My brother-in-law will do it for nothing. It's too near Christmas. I can't make a decision. I'll decide after the summer holidays. You'll never hear from them again. I'm a bit short of cash at the moment. I've just had a charge for papers and I'm going bankrupt. Haven't I seen you before? Is this the guy I bounced a check on last month? I'll need to consult the missus. I have a Thai wife and she knows how to stop me from giving my money away. And it doesn't even have to be sales. It can be normal life too. For example. Could you send me an email on that? I gave up listening five minutes ago. I'm sorry but... I'm not in the least bit sorry. Let's be honest. Let's agree with me. Let's face it. Let's agree that you're wrong. With respect, please die. With the greatest respect, please die now. You get the idea. Ciao.